Hello everybody and welcome to the World Cup first round match between Chapksu and Ornan. Um, Chapksu with the Wood Elves won the toss, chose to receive uh, and he's playing Ornan's Humans. This is a pretty interesting match for me personally because I play the winner. Um, Chapksu qualified through the BB Quebec League. Um, the, the one qualifier from that league and he has an an overall win percentage of 61 in Champs Ladder. Ornan um, representing Rebel with his team. And uh, we've just double scored there, haven't we? Yeah, I mean, you can't re-roll that. I mean, you could with three re-rolls and the ball under threat. Maybe he's, uh, he absolutely should have re-rolled that. <laughs> um, Ornan with humans, he's got 65% win rate. And representing Rebel, funnily enough, he was one of the four qualifiers in Rebel. Yeah, I think I think that wasn't should have been an instant reroll or actually protect the ball in any way. <laughs> A bit of an error from um, Chabksu there, isn't it? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta. You, I mean, you've got to, you've got to put him at fault there. I mean, it's it's that's Blood Bowl one on one. Protect the ball was not protected. Now he's he's. He's let his uh, dancer get tackled, and he's lost the ball. It's uh, yeah, it's not good, is it? Um, so if we look at the teams, yeah. uh, we've got a tackle dancer and a strip dancer, exactly the same as mine. A leader, exactly the same. And then he's gone for kick for his extra skill, which I don't really like. Um, I've seen somebody with a leader dodge on the on the thrower. I think that's very good. He's getting the foul in here, isn't he? Very aggro team here, Ornan. I'm I'm pretty scared of this team actually. Um, if I if I'm to win, if he's to win, because I looked at them and I'm like I'm scared of both. To be fair, because Chabksu's team he hasn't got the wood out. He hasn't got the wood out. He hasn't got the tree man. So he's actually got the three re rolls and the apple. So I'm kind of scared of Chabksu's team because he can he can just completely outmaneuver me, and then. I'm scared of Ornan's team for all of the... He's got a piling on mighty blow. I mean, that is ridiculous. No one else has taken a piling on mighty blow to start. And he has. His tackle doesn't have mighty blow. And then two guarders and a block ogre. The block ogre is pretty standard. Um, I can see why people want it. I don't really like the block ogre. I've probably said this in every single video with humans. But... Yeah, the piling on mighty blow is different. Only two guard, you know, is uh, these them a bit light in bash matchups. But you know, and and this is the thing that the lack of the tree is good for Chabksu in the mirror if he plays me. But it's also uh, it's pretty bad in this match. You know, the tree would be would be dominating the ogre and and giving him a lot of breathing room on the breathing room on the LOS. And without him, um, it's not good. But I mean the. the He's just made the ultimate the ultimate mistake of not protecting the ball, hasn't he, at the end of the day. But uh, I know it's a big game and I know he's probably nervous and everything and maybe maybe that's why that's why it's happened. But you gotta you gotta protect the ball, haven't you? Piling on, oh man. <laughs> Can't believe someone did it. Well, I can. I'm surprised. I'm actually more surprised only one person did it, to be fair. It was an option for a lot of teams, wasn't it, with skilling? I'm sure some Necro teams set up with the idea of potentially going claw piling on Mighty Blow. This is a very easy chain into more 2D. Chit, chit. I would have... Oh, no. I would have... Uh, I mean, he gets a he gets a pal. I would have chained this character. I'd have put two guys in here and chained him into there, so I could have hit the ball that way. Um, but he went for the three plus strip. Fair enough. I mean, he's you've got a leap stripper. Why not? But that's the way I would have I would have gone about getting the ball back. But this is real nightmare on for Chabksu, isn't it? I mean, at least he's got. The absolute team in the game to get the ball back. He's made Kaz there. Also, Ornan's gone 13 players. He's only got two. He's only got two. Uh, two re-rolls. But 
It's a very aggressive team, isn't it? 13 players. And uh, piling on my e <laughs> A scary, a scary team for, for, for anyone really, but particularly Wood Elves where it could foul. This is this is quite something. This I've seen it a few times. People really people with elves not protecting the ball as much. I guess thinking they're immune or that they can uh, they can get the ball back. But even the non mighty blow guy making cas. This is. Uh, I mean, oh, he's got a catcher there. Just go one 0 up straight away. Fair enough. Fair enough, I, I don't hate that because it, it's, you know, he hasn't got the ball on his thrower. Uh, he may not have even fought, fielded the thrower in defence there. So, you know, he, he could have got stripped He could have got stripped at any point and it could have ended up a 1-0 drive for Chabdksu. So I'm quite I'm quite okay with Arnon scoring early, like you know scoring early on defense. I'm always happier about scoring uh, scoring earlier on defense because at least you get it. You know? Well, <laughs> it's a pretty unlucky KO, isn't it? <laughs> Where's the ball gone? Oh, it would land there again. I wonder if he's gonna. Protect the ball this time, not really. <laughs> that was a huge non re roll. Wow. <sighs> I don't know, I'm, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe the pressure's getting to Chuxu here. This seems. This seems very much, you know, he's already had it happen once, I guess. I guess playing a bit looser now is okay because, you know, he's got to kind of... In his head, he's got to try and deal with what's just happened, hasn't he? So, it's a bit, it's getting tougher for him now. But now the dirty, the dirty pom can get to work. With a 75% knockdown. No, no AV break though. Basically a 2 plus to break AV with a uh, piling on mighty blow against armor 7. So there's going to be a bunch of stuns and a bunch of Kaz against his team if you if you would else. What you've got to do is try and make it so that either he can't blitz anybody or he'd have to blitz an irrelevant player to try and limit, you know, limit his effectiveness. That's the thing, you you know, you can't really foul him as what else. What you can do is go to where he isn't or stick a random dude on him when he's prone um, so that he, don't, he won't want to waste his blitz hitting, hitting somebody over there. All right, just taking the hit there. It's against guard, and yeah, it, that now he's got to use his blitz to make to make Orna not want to blitz this lineman. Any movement? Yeah, so, I mean that's the thing. Like, it's it's easy to be critical. You know, watching it, watching this with a clear head, but you know, chapsu has got to be—he's got to be feeling it mentally, hasn't he? Here, and then a double one. <laughs> I don't really like—I don't really like GFIing to base a tackle guy, uh, but that's it. You know, he's probably—he's probably—he's probably pretty much gone at this point, isn't he? I mean, I, I can see why he's doing it again. Obviously, protect this catcher from the tackle blitz, but. Hmm. Of a dancer as well. Just go for the down. I mean, the natural thing is to go for the guy who's furthest forward, you know, to try and defend the touchdown. Also, 75% knockdown. But there's so much value in hitting the uh, hitting the war dancer. I wouldn't have hated hitting the war dancer. 
gets the big gets the big stun to let him run around. Block paying off for the ogre. Let's him not make three dices. I mean, I guess the biggest thing about blocking the ogre is just being happy to make two dice blocks with him, rather than only making three dice blocks as you normally would. I like that, stopping him getting the two plus dodge out. That's where I went wrong in my uh, last rebel match. Was uh, well, my first rebel match of the season was not letting, not stopping the backwards escape. He's got these two dodges and stuff, but... Oh. Nah, yeah, well, I mean, that's okay. It's a, it's a dodge without dodge to uh, get, get his guy dodging with dodge. So that's absolutely fine. Be better than dodging with a ball carrier, isn't it? Scary stuff though for Chabksu. But pretty much this is why I went Wood Owls. Because he's down to nine players and he can run rings around him, can't he, if he rolls good dice. <laughs> and you know, we've seen games in this World Cup where dwarves have taken five cars. Um, humans started a second half with five players on the pitch, you know, <laughs> there's um, there's some crazy dice happening and I think I went with Wood Elves because I thought if crazy dice happen to Wood Elves, they can still maybe do a desperation play. Um, the problem is of course it only takes slightly above average dice to cause a lot of cards to Wood Elves and it is harder, you know, you don't want to have nine players do you, you'd rather You'd rather be a Dark Elf team with 11 players here than a, than a Wood Elf team with 9, but... He's going to make the rolls to hit the ball. He rolls it, might as well, he's got 2. Gets the pow. Fair enough. And I, I like making the GF to pick the ball up, you know. A lot of people would be like, base the ball, but at the end of the day, it's elves. It's, it's just literally too easy for him to score. <laughs> so. Or even stall, yes. Yeah, so he's he's going to go for the stall despite dodging through tackle with no rerolls. Well. I think I would have. <laughs> I think I would have just taken the score there. <laughs> I think I would have just taken the score there. I mean, you know, humans can score in two with a reroll, of course they can. But you're out of rerolls. Do you really want to make an extra 30% chance of failure? You, do you really want to try and stall it there, making all these dice rolls? I'm not sure. Not really not sure about that one. I think I wouldn't have liked taking it, but I think I would have done. But then, you know, that's just what I would have done. I'm not saying that I'm right. And Chabksu's wrong, but I don't think I would have. I think I would have just taken the score there, or well, tried to. Let's pick up with the dancer. Not super relevant block, really, is it? Oh, and yeah, he does foul, yeah. yeah. I mean, humans are a pretty, pretty strong team in this form. Dodging is better, of course, 75% in the two tackle zones rather than the 66% leap. He's going to go for the pass. Wow, bold. himself with mighty ball. Hmm. And then just there was no there's no pass then. That was a it must be a misclick or something, wasn't it? Surely you don't put your dancer in the end zone. You put him in there to, to dodge and pass to him, don't you? 
Not, not just to get served. Because it doesn't stop him anyone who's going for the score. Oh well, it's it stopped a re-roll for the touchdown attempt, so that that was something. But he got he got KO. And he still got oh I don't like I don't like the relevant blocks. I mean it's okay, obviously you might get a Kaz like this. Yeah, maybe it is maybe it is alright. <laughs> There is the chance that oh yeah and the found the okay yeah the found the dance is good found the dance is actually pretty good yeah okay I like it a lot more when it's followed by the found the dance maybe though yeah and then you've got the because it's such a low chance of the uh, pass and the touchdown he might not have been in range maybe, maybe that was why you, but you'd you'd think if he was in range you'd have gone for gone for I mean maybe he wasn't in range I don't know sorry about that it's too late now you can you can check when you're watching if he was in range. <laughs> If he was in the fifth square, he was in range, wasn't he? Um, it looked like he was in range, but it, it was low odds, so I guess he thought removing a dancer is much more likely. Obviously, he doesn't care if a guy gets sent off because he's got 13 players. Yeah, it's a lot softer, isn't it? That's the thing, a, a Wood Elf team without the tree looks a lot worse in these kind of, you know, playing a bashy team like humans. Which is, it's the role that humans are more comfortable in, isn't it? A bashy team versus an agility team. Um, they can hopefully 2-1 grind, or in this case, they'll hopefully 2-0 grind. And they're basically, they outbash wood elves as hard as orcs outbash wood elves. But they've got uh, actually harder <laughs> in this format because they get more skills. So they get, they get two guard and a pom that orcs would have. But now they've got tackle... And an extra block, so they actually just outbash elves harder than orcs would, whilst being having more movement as well, and and you know more agility and everything. So it's a it's a pretty they're a pretty scary matchup for particularly treeless elves. He's been quite unlucky with his palm, actually, hasn't he? He hasn't, he hasn't taken over the game, but then he hasn't made that many blocks with it, to be fair. I think he's only made three pylons. Go for the tackle blitz. He's got the guard in the cage corners, making the leap. The leap sack almost... Impossible. <laughs> and this is this is tough now, isn't it? For the L's down two players, do they just try to do a a kind of standard screen? I guess that is what they're doing. Trading blitzers, but they're trading not a nothing blitz. An armor eight, in fact, a one dice blitz. Oh, he's going for the leap strip. Well, it's not a strip, he's just going for a leap uphill re roll. Wow, wow, that is a little kamikaze, isn't it? I, I think he should have just maybe screened it off. I mean, I know he has to turn him over to win, but you know, maybe screen it off and see what happens for a few turns. Maybe get a better chance than an uphill effectively without strip because he's got a shoot of hands. Because now he's already displayed a willingness to foul as Ornan. So you, you know you're going to get fouled here. Mm, sensible, making the cage away. Some people would have just uh, kept the cage there and got the foul in, but he's played it very sensibly getting away. And there you go. He's left a, he's left a non, a non guard square. So straight away he could have had the one dice this turn. I mean, he does have the one dice this turn. Only one assist foul. It's 
stun. Wow. So yeah, 3 plus 5 plus to get the ball, isn't it? Maybe a GFI as well, actually. Yeah, GFI as well. Because it, it's 7 squares across. I like this screen though, stopping the recovery somewhat. Yeah, he's, he's going to go for it now. If, if, if he went for it uphill, he's going to do it on a one dice, isn't he? Fails the leap. It's the push. I don't think he had to go for this at all. There was only one push square, and it was into like lots of guard and catcher and the screen in front. I think the safe play would have been to blitz this guy and go there, but it's really hard for him because he knows that if the uh, uh, you know if the human score, it's pretty much over at two 0 so it is, it is a tough thing to defend, and absolutely. So yeah, he double bases the catcher to make it a bit harder for him. Mm, a double base on the ball, that's, that's that's not a bad little bit of pressure, is it? Oh, that's big. Huge Kaz. And yeah, Chabksu when he, he did have the apple, didn't he? But he's used it, yeah. Yeah, because he went without the tree. Hmm. I'm not, I'm not sure. I really do like the tree, even though even though it was terrible for me and it was terrible for Ducky. Um, it really does it really does shore up this kind of magic. This kind of magic. This kind of matchup. You know. One of the great strengths of Woody's, I think, the tree, but. Obviously, it can be it can be it can be terrible, and I can certainly see the value of having your rerolls and your apothecary, and just having eleven players in the mirrors. I mean, um, fiction killed me in the mirror in uh, in Rebel in the Rebel qualifier. We had a, a Wood Elf mirror match, and his his lack of tree. I mean, my tree was rooted the whole game. And he had eleven elves, and I had ten. So he was he was a player up straight away, and you know he played his offense very well. And he, he did get look, you know he got kind of stupidly lucky in the end. I took like five cas or something, but even if it wasn't, he may and I failed a one turner. But I may, he may have won anyway, despite all of the crazy luck, just because I was down a man not having a tree basically. But in this kind of matchup, I think you definitely want a tree. That's pretty unlucky, isn't it? What one dancer gets blocked and cast, and then the other one leaps and gets cast, and now this guy gets surfed, and then this guy could get surfed. He could have, he could have probably done a double surf here, pushed him there first, run around, double surfed. Not if he gets a boat down. Ah oh, no, he, he got the push. I'm sure he could have double surfed him there. I mean, not that he needs to. This looks safer. A safer tuner as you're going to get with it, with the dancers out, doesn't it? Maybe move up a little bit to have the double guard. Nope. Just passes the turn. Sensible for Bion and to not pass turns. <laughs> but yeah, Chavx has given up four cars. Two on the dancers, fair enough. So, almost certainly, I'll wait till the end. <laughs> but yeah, it's looking like I'm facing the scary human team with 13 players, so he can get some fouls in. I mean, he already does. So I know he's going to foul me if he gets me down. And um, <laughs> he runs around a little bit. Yeah. This is going to be very tricky. I mean, it you know it it, it wouldn't really be a dicing because he's got piling on mighty blow, but it kind of is, isn't it? If the piling on mighty blow, it didn't even fire in this match, and he still made four cards. It's the kind of team. It's got a mighty blow ogre. He's got a couple of guards. He's got sure hands. It's scary, isn't it? It's a very scary, and he's just he's gonna foul. When he gets the chance, I know that. So that's in my head a little bit, isn't it? And and then the piling on mighty blow. Yeah, this is gonna be. This is gonna be very tricky. 
very tricky indeed. I, I think, I, to be honest, there, I think, and uh, you know, I mean, I know Chavks was a good player, but he blew it first turn, didn't he? Completely fail it and defend the ball. That was he paid. He paid the ultimate price at the end of the day, and and he could have re-rolled that double. He didn't even re-roll the double skull. So, you know, he's he's got he's got to own that. Um, you know, overall, obviously, the armor breaks were huge and everything. And, but he never really had a good chance to steal the ball. Um, Chapsu, you know, Onan, Onan closed out the game perfectly. Um, so congrats to him. I uh, hope, I hope he doesn't get quite as many armor breaks as his next match, though. <laughs> so thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.